Hey, YouTube. Today, amongst other things, we're talking about how to uh, assume the position. Classical guitar position, which is really, really useful for certain things. So I'm backing way to something up from the camera. Hopefully the camera will refocus upon me. So, hey, look, my messy office. Um, so what I've got here is a little, uh, you, there are there are designated machines to do this. They call them guitar spitzels, but I just happen to have a very nice yoga block that <clears throat> my wife has loaned me for this purpose. And um, ta-da, hugger mugger, you gotta love it. Okay, um, and so for right-handed guitarists, you're gonna put something, it could be a yoga block, it could be a guitar footstool, it could be um, some old textbooks from uh, school, it could be, uh, you know, a pet or a small child, no. Um, anyway, so the idea is to get the headstock about level with your eyes. Um, and uh, the instrument at a almost 45 degree angle so that you have access easily to the lower strings. That's the goal. Now for me, the other thing that I have to do when I'm doing this is I have to drop my right knee a little bit too. If you're left-handed guitarist, you'll have to reverse these things and put your right knee up and your left knee down. But uh, you know, wait, hold on, I can I can do that for you guys. Like this, this feels very strange to me. Anyway, so that's the nut of it. And the real reason for checking it out is for certain chords where you really have to reach awkwardly to the the uh -huh. sixth string like that. Um, it can be really, really helpful um, to get better access to the lower strings. The, um, the, the hint about this that I always give students is that the reason that you see guitar played like this all the time is that before guitar was the, coming back to the desk, just there, okay. Before guitar was the most popular stringed instrument in the world, the mandolin was, um, and uh, in the United States, we had all of these people teaching guitar teachers who were actually mandolin players and they hold the guitar like this with the thumb over the neck and there's nothing wrong with that you can do lots of great stuff that way but for bar chords you'll see if i don't position the guitar this way i have to drop my shoulder over and over, and over. anyway um so for bar chords, for a lot of intense playing on the sixth string or lower, it's really, really useful. So you may want to experiment with that. And again, like the shorthand I use, mandolin technique, guitar technique, mandolin technique, guitar technique. Uh, telephone klingelt. Okay, so have fun with that, and um, uh, we'll see you in the we'll see you in the comments. Link and subscribe and follow. Yeah, bye.